Your All Holiness, distinguished guests, I regret I can only be here with you remotely today, but I deeply appreciate the opportunity to express my gratitude to His All Holiness, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, for his vision and stellar leadership in marshalling global attention to the moral imperative of a healthy planet and healthy people. For over three decades now, the Patriarch has shined a global spotlight on the interconnectedness of social and ecological issues. He's drawn attention to the fact that healing the planet is indeed about healing ourselves. Healing the planet is about healing ourselves. For over two decades, I have had the wonderful opportunity to help organize the series of symposia called Religion, Science, and the Environment, working with the remarkable Maria Beckett on behalf of the Patriarch to bring together perspectives from religion, government, civil society, and science, and really examine some of the opportunities ahead of us. Many were surprised by the tone of those symposia, an open inquiry, a tone of respect for science, uh, an openness to all perspectives and all religions, and a focus on coming together and finding common ground. That spirit has resulted in what has now become a global movement that focuses on not only stewardship of the planet, but peace and tolerance, because indeed they are so interconnected. Today, as we face the even increasingly daunting challenges of climate change and other environmental problems, as well as the social disruption that's happening around the world, your meeting here is even more timely than ever before. The consequences of climate change to people are becoming increasingly obvious. I see on a daily basis as a marine biologist the impacts of climate change on the ocean and the consequences that has to people. Oceans today are warmer, they're higher, they're more acidic, and they hold less oxygen. In light of the fact that over 3 billion people depend on seafood for a significant fraction of their protein, and the fact that the majority of the people in the world live in the coastal areas, it is even more important that we get on with the business of solving the climate change problem. We have adequate science. We have government agreements. What's lacking is the moral commitment, the moral commitment to actually make a difference, to accelerate the progress, to find creative solutions. And that, I hope, will be the challenges that you tackle. Good luck with this. I look forward to the outcomes. And again, thank you, Your All Holiness, for your wonderful leadership.